Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming towards steady up uh, 150 for 33 hours. Way. Now go back to your ICP and you're gonna set up channel 075, the taken channel for this airport. So you go to your DD and you're gonna type it between those, you'll see it. I'm gonna type it so you can see it. I'm just gonna hit the numbers. Zero, there's the zero, uh, seven, five and then hit enter. Now you see the frequency down there and that is the frequency 1110 for radio of course it's not set, it's at zero it says CRS so we're gonna go down and on the HSI it is your course knob right now it's saying zero like it is set above in DED so you're gonna make it go to the left by right clicking your mouse with the right button and make it go to 340 now it's set to 340 and when you're aligned with the course this line should be right in the middle with this one it should be one solid yellow line there's your heading bug which is the green one you can move it right or left left button on the mouse, the right button, and your nautical mouse, you have 11 miles away from the airport. Now another very important thing here is your backup system. Right here you can see the lines are exactly the same are in your HED. Right there. So if for some reason your HED doesn't work you can relay on your ADI. Now you're gonna go to your AOA carrot or angle of attack and the proper angle should be 11 degrees for a proper uh, glide path descent. So you want to maintain that on 11 degrees and the way you know that is because right here you can see right now is the V or an inverted V on yellow or orange this one is telling you that you're too high and there's one in the middle is not lit but you will see it later on it's a green circle when that circle is lit that means that you are in the proper glide path to the runway and then right above here there is a V a red V that will tell you that you're too low. So all this aids together with your HUD, your AOA, and your course, it should get you right to where you want to be to have a proper descent into the run. This is your proper angle from your angle of attack. Your jet should look something like this. Right now I'm uh, course zero seven. Cowboy one one, maintain two nine or zero knots. So I'm gonna slow down, and you can see the airport over there. We we're not going to the final. We're just gonna intercept the base leg. You can see the lines. If we were landing at the runway right now. Cowboy one one, maintain two eight zero knots will be too high that's what the line is telling us but because we're just going to intercept the base leg we're not really following them right now so i'm going to slow down a little bit cowboy one one maintain two eight zero knots vectors to right base runway one six left there you have it right base one six left gonna reduce almost to idle and that is the airport right there cowboy one one maintain two seven zero knots so i'm going to pitch up a little to maintain three thousand feet that's what she told me to maintain just keep in mind i'm being a little bit choppy because i have the camera on my hand 
but it's pretty easy to maintain once you get two hands on your controls. Now let me pause it again because I have to tell you about speeds and descent rates. Now, using your fuel flow gauge, which is that one right there, you're gonna come to this chart. Here you can see the different speeds and positions that you can have and how to maintain the airspeed. Like for example, flight attitude level, gear position up, speed brakes position close, airspeed to be maintained 200 knots, so you need to have a fuel flow setting of 1200 pounds per hour. Okay, now you have your taken set, everything is ready, your course is ready, so I'm just gonna wait for her to tell me what to do. And let's look to the left. There's the airport, we're just going right by it. This is where you are, just flying along the right base to go towards runway 16. So they're gonna take you out and fly you back in into runway 16 left. Keep in mind when she is quiet or the air traffic control is quiet, it's because you are pretty close to what they told you to do. If something's wrong, like your heading, speed, or altitude, she will tell you correct. She won't say correct, but she will tell you maintain 240 knots or 3,000 feet or turn to the heading that she wants you to turn. So if she's quiet, you're doing things okay. So basically, they're just taking us away from the airport. Cowboy 11, descend to 2000, maintain 200 knots, turn left heading 245, Vickers to final, runway 16 left. Okay, let me pause it. So now she's telling us how to get to final, which is going around with a left turn to intercept runway 16. So now we're going to set go back here and we're going to have to change our course because we're not going to land on the runway 34 anymore we're just going to the 16 which is uh, 160 degrees so we're going to go here and with the knob just keep it turning until it says 160 there you go 160 now we can go back up and see what else she has to say also another thing that you have that will help you to glide yourself better towards the runway it's these lights on the threshold I don't know if you can see them, they're white. You can see two wipes on top and two wipes on the bottom. Let me zoom in. You can rarely see them then, but when you're far away, you can see that if the top ones are red and the bottom ones are red too, you're too low. If they both are white, you're too high. And if one is white and the other one is red, you're on the proper glide path angle. So they will help you to, to guide you towards the runway. So down to 160 knots. You just follow the horizontal line for the glide path. And here comes another checklist. 